Hi everybody, it's Janice. Um, I'm here today to share a process. Um, I'm so sorry, I do not edit videos because uh, I don't have I don't have time sincerely to um, just to do that. I'm I'm even I'm not even tech technological. Okay, so the fact that I'm doing YouTube videos is really a stretch for me. Okay, so um, my husband's offered to do that, but that's a whole other, you know, that that's to come maybe someday. So I am so sorry. I know that some of you wish you didn't have to start every time with the different parts. I, I really apologize about that. And I understand because I love watching YouTube. Um, but it, it really isn't, um, because I'm lazy or anything like that, really. It really is because I don't have time. So I'm so sorry. So please bear with the different parts to the videos. Someday, maybe. That's a challenge for the future. Okay, so last night I was watching Andrea, and I hope I'm not pronouncing it incorrectly. I think it's Gommel or maybe Gommel. I'm not sure. But, oh my gosh, I love, I'm really enjoying her. And she posted a video last night on making your own washi tape with gelatos. And then she created this awesome background on a white piece of paper. I got this paper from my mixed media art class that my friend Robin and I took at the expo. And I'm not sure what kind of paper it is. I, I, I really wish I had remembered or thought of it to ask her. I mean, I thought of it, but the words never came out of my mouth. So it kind of looks like basil, possibly. But I love it. It has a texture to it already. And then if you don't want the texture, you can flip it over and work on the other side. So that's what I have going on right now. And then I have this background stamp that I believe is basic gray and hero arts it's a clean one and I'm not even gonna bother putting it on a block and then I have my color wheel and then I have my photo this is gonna be a birthday layout and what I did I just want to take you to the roots of it all okay as we say in classical conversations to the grammar okay <laughs> the grammar here is everything that I'm going to use I am going to use, like I said, gelatos. This is how I'm storing them right now. I'm collecting lots of colors, and I'm having fun with that. I wish they were on sale right now at Walmart. I mean, not at Walmart, at Michael's, because I have a 25% off your entire purchase. I would so buy all of the color families, but this is how I keep them. This is just one of those nuts container that nuts come in at BJ's. So this is how I have them. I went through all of the colors and I looked at my photo and I kind of tried to I tried to match to the best of my ability. And so since the birthday boy, it's all about this birthday boy right here. My son turned eight and we got him a cheesecake for his birthday because he likes cheesecake. So I chose the color of his shirt, which was a turquoise color. And this is metallic mint, and this came in the metallics pack. And then I chose this orange, which came in the big 12 pack that I bought at Amazon. And then this watermelon, I believe, came maybe in the tropicals one. Um, sorry, I have them all mixed up. And so I thought these three colors would go well. And just to make sure that they go well, I like I still use my color wheel. I started with this color and I pointed the arrow to it and then I wanted to find, and there's several ways I could have gone, but I went with the split comp complementary which means that you're going to the complementary color and you're using the two colors that are on either side. And so that's where I got the orange and this is not a really a true red but you can see it's right here, it's like a pinkish red because my niece had pink and my stepmom had kind of like a pinky red color in my brother-in-law's shirt. So I just thought that would all kind of tie it together. Okay, so that's how I use my color wheel. And then we're going to use our background stamp and start our background. And then we're going to use this pretty thick masking tape. My husband assured me that we had it, and we did. I went in the garage and found it. It is one and 
three quarter inches wide. Inches, yes. And then I found, in searching for my color wheel, I found this Jenny Bolin banner that Arlene gave me. My friend Arlene, thank you. And in hoarding it, it has gotten broken up. But you know what? That's okay, because we're going to fix it and we're going to use it. I'm going to try to use this fiber paste. I, this is how it dried. I put it on my craft mat and I just wiped it with a, not wiped it, but spread it with a craft knife, with a palette knife, and just whoosh, and let it dry for actually like a couple days. I live in Florida, so it's humid. But then you get these cool, and it doesn't feel like paper, it feels more plasticky, but it looks like paper. So I'm going to use that somehow. I'm going to use the texture of this Starbucks um, holder. So and again, this is all inspired by what Andrea Gommel did on her layout. So, um, here we go. And then I have a little mini mister that I might use. And I have my water and my other mister. So, I think I want to use this side with the texture, just because I love texture. And what we're going to do is use our stamp to begin with. And I'm going to work on this area right here. And I'm just going to keep my photo nearby for inspiration. And then we're going to take our stamp. And I'm going to use the turquoise all over. And just lightly because I don't want to waste it and get it in the grooves. And just kind of put it all over. And then we're going to mist it. And apply it to our background. So I get this. it's okay if the paper gets wet. Again, mixed media art is not meant to be fussy. It's meant to be free and really just fun. So I'm just going to, now it takes a little bit for this to get embedded into the paper. So it's not like ink, it is like ink, but it's not, it's just kind of hold it down. And if you can't see it, love it, I love it. Then I'm going to take it and I'm going to do a second generation down here. You can use a brayer too if you like. This is the Ink Essentials medium size brayer. Okay, and then we can just keep, you know, kind of adding these. I could add more water and do some more. So there really is a lot on here, and I don't want to waste it. So I can just kind of I could have my mixed media book ready and I could maybe add it to there. Let's go to this page here and just start something. Close the lid. See, I think that's too much water. But let's see what happens. We're just kind of playing here. So that's cool. It's neat. I love this stamp. Okay. And look, look. There's still tons left. So I'm just going to let that dry. And we'll go back to this. And so at this point, I would dry it. Okay, clean off my stamp with a baby wipe or a paper towel. I would, I would use a paper towel at this point, or a baby wipe. 
and then we're going to go ahead and make our washi tape. So stay tuned for part two.